This will give you a little information on the Google vTiger Calendar Sync. This is the config page and uh, you can see once you um, uh, get it installed and activate it, uh, you're, um, you've got the checkbox check to uh, activate the calendar sync. Um, you can come to this page and change any of your settings and just hit save. But you've got, um, uh, even though it runs automatically, you can uh, sync it at any time manually, and these buttons are to sync manually. Um, in addition, you can um, uh, modify your Google to VTiger settings, things like um, uh, you could set your um, uh, your uh, when you bring in something from Google, you can automatically set it to a meeting or a call. Um, a meeting makes the most sense, of course. Uh, set your default priority for events coming in from Google. Um, uh, how to handle it if a start time for a Google event is coming in to VTiger um, uh, as a past event, and how to handle it if it's a future event. In addition, you can indicate um, uh, from the uh, uh, the Google um, to VTiger sync which calendars you want to um, uh, pull into VTiger. So um, let's go ahead and do a demonstration. Uh, so today's Tuesday the 10th. I'm going to put an event in here at 9 a.m. and test from Google to VTiger. And at the same time, we'll go into VTiger. And add a meeting there. Test from VTiger to Google. Here's the event coming in from VTiger. And here's the test coming in from Google. So um, events are syncing both ways.